Are you like me and spend way too much time doom scrolling on your phone, both as a form of escapism and a way of recharging your energy, but it only gives you enough energy for the next scroll and not enough to get up and do something meaningful? Just me? So what am I going to do about it? Crafts. Obviously. I'm going to send my phone to jail. Having lived with myself for decades, I like to think I know myself pretty well, and I know if the jail isn't pretty or interesting, I'm not going to use it. And if it's too easy to get my phone out, I'm going to take it out of the first notification. Hopefully, if I'm making it harder to grab my phone, this will help me pick better sources of dopamine. The simplest thing would have been a pretty box, but it's not that satisfying. So I came up with a design where you spin the top to lock in the phone. I played around on Procreate for a while, trying to decide what the top would look like, and eventually landed on the space theme with a sprinkling of Art Nouveau. The big black circle would be a cutout, so I could still kind of see my phone, both for the time and to check if a notification was worth taking the phone out. I cut the bottom circle out of cardboard and covered it in warbler to make a strong base. It was important because this is also the sleeve that needs to support my phone. I didn't want to rely on just wood and glue, especially since I was having some new ideas about where to put it when it was done. The top circle was cut out of 2mm basswood. Would this have been way easier and more precise if I had a laser cutter? Yes! Do I have one? No! So here we are. I made the sidewalls out of a strip of foam and covered the front with warbler. This makes a really strong connection to the wood top, and the foam inside creates a little buffer so we don't have two hard parts scraping against each other. Once again, I'm the queen of no planning, so I had no idea how I was going to make it spin. I thought of a few different ideas, but all of them involved putting a rod through the bottom support and attaching it to the top weren't really great since my phone screen could potentially scratch against it as I'm putting it in or out. I had bought some tiny paintbrushes, and they came in these little plastic tubes. I thought this would be a great solution. If I embedded a circle of plastic into the support and glued the top to the top, it would create a perfect fit that still spins. Spoiler alert, it worked up until it didn't, and I ended up going with a completely different solution. I also tried a new material for this project. I've watched people like Tina Yu use this, and I thought it would be a good option so I could sculpt directly onto the wood and not have to bake the wood in an oven with my usual clay. I have feelings. One, I really, really, really detest wearing gloves. I don't even wear them in the winter, and latex gloves kind of make my skin crawl when I wear them. But since this is a two-part epoxy that cures via a chemical reaction, gloves are smart. Two, it's so sticky. And when I say sticky, I mean it sticks to my gloves, not the actual surface that I want it to stick to, which made small details a lot harder than I'm used to. It was really smooth though. A little water and I managed to get some really nice fluid lines. It takes 24 hours to cure, and I only did a little at a time, so it took me a few days before it was complete. 
Another good surprise, this was really easy to sand and get smooth. If you've ever worked with this material before, please give me your tips. I have a feeling I'm using it wrong. Remember that sketch I did with all the colors? Well, about halfway through, I decided that part of it needed to be iridescent. I found this paint called Dragonfly Glaze by Folk Art and decided I needed to pick some up. Oh my heck. This color. While you can technically paint it over any color, it doesn't stay white, it looks incredible on black. Seriously, I'm in love with this color. I need to paint my whole life this color. I've been wandering around the apartment looking for black things I can paint. I picked up a new kind of gold paint while I was at the store too. I have some gold acrylics at home, but honestly I haven't been loving the texture. The color is lovely, but it always seems to show all the brush strokes, and I really wanted this to feel almost like gold leaf. But it is way better than what I had before, so I'm happy. Ah, uh, but that's where my luck ran out. I could not get a good background color. Originally, I thought a deep, deep blue would be great, especially if it was a blue-tinted black. Not quite. I couldn't put my finger on it, but it just wasn't right. So I tried a different blue. Mm, nope. Okay, back to the drawing board. Literally. I played with a bunch of colors in Procreate, but nothing was feeling just right. I even tried a very deep red black, thinking it would be like a nice warm black, but it just turned out chocolate brown. I just wanted a nice, deep, blue-black-gray. And luckily, I remember that Payne's Gray exists. I dusted some stars on, and it's close enough to my hopes, so this is what I'm going with. All that was left was to fix the spinning mechanism with a top secret, super special technique. I'm kidding, it's magnets. The top is held with magnets. And hang it on the wall. Remember how I said I needed the base to be super strong? This is why. Now my phone can live in the void of space like the black hole of doom scrolling it is, I can still see it in case there's actually an important notification, and it's not taking up any of my very precious limited desk space. And that's it! I really hope this helps me detach from my phone and not run to it whenever I'm tired. Maybe I'll even craft more, who knows? I'm sure you all have your own strategies for creating a healthy relationship with your phones, so let me know what you do in the comments. And if you think making a jail would be a fun option for you, let me know that too. I'd love to see what you all create. I hope you've all had good holidays and have a very happy new year. Every day of it. I'll see you in the next one.